as a pregnant woman, don't always be lazy. Because if you are lazy on the delivering day, the baby will be lazy for you to come on. But if you are not lazy, you are always looking, doing exercise, doing some things at home. That particular day, the baby will be running out. The baby won't be lazy for you to open the service to come out. Okay? So don't be lazy as a pregnant woman. channel subscribe to my channel give me thumbs up any time i give video thank you for coming back to say hi shout out to all the beautiful mothers out there to be a mother is not easy sincerely it's not it's not easy at all as you can see now this morning can not even do anything so she's sucking i'm feeding her our baby is sucking breast to be a mother is not easy. That from when the baby is in the stomach, you carried him or her. It's not even easy for you as a mother because you know that somebody is inside you. So it's not even easy as a pregnant woman carrying, you know that you are carrying a, an offspring. I know be a good person. I don't want to be a So you know person. An offspring. You know that you are carrying a little something a little human being like you inside your body and you do everything possible to protect him or her you try all your possible means to make sure that even though you are working somebody is just you you will not even like anything or anybody to push you through your stomach you try to protect that little baby inside you so when you are trying to come, when you are you 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 are in your first semester, let me put it like that. When you are in your first semester, when you newly conceive, you you first of all start feeling lazy, sleepy. You'll be feeling sleepy, feeling lazy. That is the symptoms, and your breast will start. Um, so some say it will start getting bigger, some say it will start pain them. That is to show that someone is you are pregnant, that is to show that you are pregnant. So, and the symptoms follow immediately. Either you start sleeping, excess sleeping, you feel sit down, you'll be feeling lazy, you'll be feeling sleepy, you're feeling like lying down. Some people cannot even do anything good in their first semester, you know. At their first semester, they cannot even remove and an, they cannot even remove anything good in. They cannot even walk. They cannot walk. They cannot do anything. Come on to wash clothes. You be lazy, you know. And everybody know that it's not easy, especially first time mom. You know you have not you have not experienced such thing before. You as you have you started conceiving or you started that is your first baby actually. You you know you see some changes in your body. You will be feeling more lazy, tired. Like some people that is not first time mom. Before you think of uh, getting up, yeah, this your baby wants to eat, and maybe your husband is doing even at your first time, your husband will not disturb you too much, you know. He, he himself is very happy that he's not going to be a father, and um, he's going to be a father, and he will not like to disturb you at that first time. They, everybody will be happy. But for the second, the second one is coming. He will, he will be like, is there anything that I've not seen there before? Even you yourself, you will be try to get up to make sure that the the children or the first one eat, and you try to make something for the first one to eat, and you know if children, children will eat. You have to say, let me get up. If they are going to school, you say, let me get up to bath bath them look for something that they were going to eat before going to school or if some children they are taking their lunch along with them you will try to make something to put 
in their lunch bag before them going out to school so you try to do all these things you know but as as i mean i don't know how to put it as first time mom you know this pregnancy of eating the symptoms will change your body you feel more lazy you know it because you're not thinking of anything self you're just thinking of yourself thinking of um once you discover that this pregnancy all your mind will be there you just focus there thinking of the new offspring inside you the new baby developing inside you and you are just thinking the day the baby will come out for you to carry him or her so you draw your mind will just focus there you just be focused so second semester even self you at second semester you all know that that second semester said you know if you go to scan the scan can be able to tell you if you see boy or girl so you start um purchasing just buying some baby things little by little then at the hospital they'll give you baby list you start picking some little things at the market that you, by then you know what you're going to bring out to the world so you start buying things little by little so at the second semester you will self you'll be eating your body will like food you like eating food um vegetables vitamins anything that will give you blood because the baby inside you need blood and the medicine they are giving you at the hospital please do be eating it because it's very good for the baby to strengthen the baby and make the baby be floating where kicking where and um the folic acid will help the baby to be developing okay so don't just be weak and say you cannot eat your medicine it's part of it you have to eat the medicine all the medicine they are giving you at the atinanta okay you have to be eating it okay you have to be eating it make sure that you are eating it because when i was pregnant the hospital that i attend where i know they normally said it's once a day so i don't know the one you are sending how they are telling you to take your medicine so if it's once a day make sure that you always put it in mind to be taking it once a day okay so don't just feel like ah, i cannot drink ah, this medicine so if i once i just see medicine i cannot even drink this medicine this medicine is irritating is this no please try to take your medicine because it's very very good for you to take your atlanta medicine okay so always do that and another thing anytime you go to hospital they will tell you to urinate in a container because that urinate they are going to take it for a lab for test to know how your sugar level everything is in your body okay so make sure that you are doing it if you go to the hospital make sure that you comply with whatsoever other pregnant um, women are doing and them so doing there so make sure you comply with them also do that okay so other thing i want to talk about uh, this pregnancy journey if you are if you're pregnant let me so don't do date do date like, you know from eight months to nine months time don't always bending down too much bending down too much it's the kind of bending down bending down that i mean it's not that it maybe something for on the ground you are holding onto something for you cannot bend down so do you know what i mean is that some people like him some people will say at the olden days is it not our parents that was pregnant and working at the farm you know it's working at the farm you will bend down to work at the farm you will bend even before you get up self it's not what you just bend down for five minutes or bend down for a minute and get up no that time that time is different from now don't always bend down bending down is not for me it's a no no it's not that i something for i cannot just bend down immediately to pick what fair so the kind of bend that i mean you bending down washing clothes you some people will bend down washing clothes don't risk it for you to be always bending down to wash clothes anytime you want to wash your clothes or 
clothes is dirty make sure that you are sitting down to wash the clothes sit down to wash the clothes and you can if you somebody that don't have washing machine at home please make sure that you sit down to wash your clothes any kind of clothes that you want to wash sit down and wash and don't always carry heavy things that like many people that don't have ball hole maybe god bless you have ball hole there are other people that don't have ball hole in their house anytime you want to fresh water carry little things don't always some people will carry heavy bath heavy heavy bow on their head to go and fresh water to some say once i go once everything will just full don't look it that way make sure that the little one in you make sure you protect it and also protect yourself because it's very very important so that little baby inside you don't stress that baby too much i didn't mean that you should not work at home as a pregnant you need some exercise that you need to do things to be always going around do things okay exercise is good for you don't be sleep 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 be lazy lazy in a bath no do a little work if you want to fetch water carry little things like 20 liter is okay for you 10 liter use it to go there fresh water as you can be able to carry then you carry it come back if you want to wash your clothes sit down and wash if you want to cook and cook do all the things but don't stress too much <laughs> yes not that you will not work work but don't overwork okay work but don't overwork work if you are looking at housework housework cannot finish in a day if all the women are looking at housework will not go out there to look for daily bread will not go out there to find us who are going to make money we will just be at home doing work because some people say work you no know, they finish for her so work you no know, they finish for her you will work 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 still you will still see some work that you never do you will still continue to be doing them so the best thing do as you can be able to do the next day you continue where you stop and as a woman look for something doing okay look for something even before you get married even before you get married look for something doing it's very very important it's very 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 important look for something doing don't just be there weak lazy and about in the morning you do a little work you bath you go to your working place if you come back you look for what you do some little things then you go and rest your head we cannot kill ourselves if you are a man watching this video, please assist your women. Some women, some men will say, once I started assisting my wife or assisting my woman at home, they will say, anytime I did not assist them again, it will bring problem at home. Why will it bring problem at home? It's two of us that 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 have the home. Now me and you get this home. Now me and you get the house. Eh? Now me and you follow Bondi Peking. Now me and you gather Bondi's children. Why will you leave all the has work alone for me to be doing will not be supporting it's not fair you actually you have to support even though you are bringing money for food you are bringing money for you have to support for has work because has work is not easy at all so i don't want this video to be too long if you are new in my channel subscribe to my channel give me thumbs up anytime i make a video subscribe this channel subscribe to this channel for my returning subscribers i always thank you for always coming back to watch my videos like a pregnant woman so make sure you always support yourself because make sure you are doing a exercise okay thank you for watching bye for now